Hello everybody, Dr. Mooch here with a, another wire mod tutorial and in this tutorial we're going to be going over um, how you can activate or deactivate open slash close things uh, automatically by having a ranger detect you know you are who you are so this can be used by let's say you and your friend have a secret base and you want the door to only open for uh, you and him well what you can do is have this ranger and it will actually read who you are and make sure no one else can get in but you too so uh, this is how we're gonna do it first you're going to need a ranger and there's going to be something different about this ranger. You're going to need to have, let me find it first, uh, these two checked, output steam ID. And uh, actually, you don't really need unique ID. I just have it on there. It's kind of helpful to have, but you really only need steam ID. Now, once you have that, you're just going to go ahead and place it where you're going to be walking. And then you're going to also need a couple of gates. And I'll explain which, which each of these do later. Uh, you're going to need a string gate equal. You're going to need a... actually I think that's it. Yep, that's all you're going to need. And you're also going to need a constant value. And you're only going to need one value for this. And it's going to need to be a string, and this is where you're going to put your Steam ID. Now, um, you're going to go ahead and place that down, but before you do that, you're going to need to figure out what your Steam ID is. So what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to go ahead and type in status in the task or the um, console, and you'll see your Steam ID come up, and you're just going to go ahead and highlight it, per and it won't show that you're highlighting it, or at least it doesn't for me, but you are and then let go and hold down control C to copy and then go ahead back into your menu and control paste it and there you go you should have your steam ID now make sure you don't have any spaces after or before the number you just want it the number and you know steam in front of it with the underscore that kind of thing no spaces before or after so that's pretty much your basic setup so what you're going to want to do is wire it all up. You're going to be comparing. So in A, we're going to assign my Steam ID. This isn't going to change. My Steam ID is always going to be this. Now the Ranger here, it takes who's ev or it assigns. What's what's a good way to phrase this? When you step in front of it, whoever steps in front of it, their Steam ID is displayed on here. So in this case, it's mine. But if my friend Bob were to, you know, stand in it, it'd show his Steam ID. So what we're going to do is we're going to link um, B to the Steam ID that the Ranger's getting. So again, let's say my friend Bob's, his Steam ID was 1111. So this would say 1111. Is it equal to, you know, 1 colon 4 colon 1 not, you know, like that? Is it equal to this number here on the constant value no so that wouldn't activate anything but now that I'm standing in front of it these two IDs match and a one is outputted as you can see there value is equal to the Ranger which is the steam ID on the constant value is equal to the steam ID on the Ranger so it outputs a one so that's great how can you use that well you know, this one and zero can be you know used to open doors fading doors all that stuff I made the most basic makeshift forcer elevator here. If I rotate this a little bit, you'll see that if I stand on this, I don't want to hit this. I don't know if I am. Let me rotate it some more. All right. So if I stand on this forcer, nothing happens, right? Because you know it doesn't have any power going to it. But let's say I stand in front of the ranger that you know takes my value and compares it um, to make sure it's me. Well, all of a sudden, you see that this forcer is activated, which it can be seen and indicated by the little orange tint around it, around the white laser. So what I can do is I can line this up, if my lining up skills are good, uh, right about 
here should be lined up. So now when I stand in front of this, it's activated and it will shoot me up. Now if any other person you know, tries to attempt that, it will say, hey, the Steam IDs don't match, don't turn on the forcer, and they'll just be standing on top of the forcer. But since it got my Steam ID and it checks it with the one I copy and paste and says, okay, this is you know, Dr. Mooch in this case, then it will turn the forcer on. And what you can do is you can add more values. So you can put your friend's Steam ID in here. So if it matches you know, your friend's Steam ID or your Steam ID, it can activate the forcer. Now, one other thing before I go, I just wanted to tell you, or make sure that if you didn't catch it before, that's my fault, on the constant value, which can be found here, make sure that the Steam, you know, uh, your Steam ID is a string. It won't work if it's an angle number vector. It has to be a string. And uh, that's pretty much all there is to it. So just a quick overview, we'll go to the basic slide, the basic uh, contraption here. We'll get a Steam ID from whoever's standing in it. It'll say, okay, does the guy who's standing in front of it, does it match whoever we copy and pasted into the constant value? If so, yes, and then it'll turn on whatever you want. In that case, it was a forcer. And if it doesn't, it will just act like no one's even standing in front of it at all. So again, this checks it's me. Yep, it's me, and it shoots off the forcer. All right, everybody, thanks for watching. If you have any questions, leave them down below. Uh, maybe leave a suggestion, and maybe a subscribe if you're feeling uh, generous. Thanks for watching, and have a nice day. So while you guys were gone, or after I ended the video, I took this a little bit further, and I made a makeshift base up in the uh, air. And again, remember, this will only work for me. So it just brings me right up there. Bam, land on my base. It's not the prettiest or the most accurate, but uh, it's a pretty cool way to use a forcer with a Steam ID recognizer or ranger.